You fill out a processing map, record as much information as you can on that set of cattle. The cattle we're going to produce is a set of summer calves. So I'm just going to put summer calves here in the group. The date that you'd process the cattle, just as many things as you can write down, write down. If they are identified by some means, record that, uh, whether it be a series of numbers or if they're not identified at this point in time, put none there or leave it blank. It's not something that's critical to, re to uh, put down there. The reprocess date on these cattle would be relative to one of the vaccines that we're gonna be utilizing. It's just 21 days from now. So basically you're looking at four, three to four weeks away from uh, this point in time. So booster date would be somewhere around 10-12-2007 uh, uh, on this particular set of cattle. Uh, we're going to be working steers and heifers. Uh, the age of these cattle is about three months. They weigh about 300 pounds. We're going to process a small group of them of 10 head. We are going to castrate, dehorn, uh, and a processing crew of one. We always have an outline of an animal for on the processing map for a simple reason. And for teaching purposes, we normally put these do not use symbols on the hip of those cattle to denote do not utilize uh, the hip area for vaccinations. If you have the need for it and use these particular forms we have, they're Word documents, you can remove that. And we do that because we also indicate where we want the brand placed on the cattle as we're processing. So we actually do that as we go through the process as well. As we look at the products we're gonna use, we're gonna use a clostridial vaccine. You wanna take a look at that product and see what the serial number is and what the exp expiration date is on that product and record that on your processing map. So as we look at this and the lot or serial number on this particular product is 09606 nine zero one B. So make sure you write that down. Expir expiration date of 15 7 08. This product, if you refer to the uh, label on this product, is a two mil subcutaneous injection. So that router administration is going to be sub Q. Dose is going to be two mils and needs to be boosted at 10 12. What's the withdrawal period on this particular product? If you refer to this, it has a withdrawal period of 21 days before slaughter. So for this processing that we're gonna be doing right now, withdrawal date is three weeks from today. Uh, if we do come back in booster, the withdrawal date will then be 21 days from that booster date. But right now we're gonna go 21 days out from today Without that information on hand when you initially fill it out, just make sure you get that information off the implant box and get it recorded on this particular paper before you uh, file it away.